So this is probably the shortest video I've ever recorded in the history of my channel. So you guys already read the title, do not buy the iPhone 14. And if you want to know why, stay tuned. So we all have seen Apple's event where they revealed the new iPhone 14s. We also got a new Apple Watch as well and new AirPods and they revealed other services as well. So basically what happened was that now we have an iPhone 14, the regular, and an iPhone 14 Plus, and then an iPhone 14 Pro, and then the Pro Max. For this video, we're gonna set the Pro and the Pro Max aside, and let's focus on the 14s for a second. So basically the only difference between the 14 and the 14 Plus is the size only. The size and the size of the battery as well, because bigger display needs bigger battery. So both of these phones, the 14 and the 14 Plus, has the same camera specs, performance specs, same design, same everything. It's just a size difference. So why do I say do not buy the iPhone 14? Well, it's simply because there are no changes at all. And I mean it. Literally, the only difference between the iPhone 13 of last year and this year's iPhone 14 is the size of the sensor of the camera. Maybe some changes on the battery as well. That's it. It's the same design. It even uses the same chip of last year. Can you imagine that? The same chip. It's crazy. And the camera differences are, are not even barely differences are barely you can like you have to like be a very very like enthusiast to spot the difference between the iphone 13 and the iphone 14. if we forgot about the price for a second then that phone would be a good everyday phone and it's it's not a bad phone by any means it's just that there is no value for your money whatsoever Apple is pricing this phone at $800. And you, you can just add 200 more and get the Pro with the new Dynamic Island, with the new cameras, right? The 48 megapixels. And much, much more visual changes than just a, a same, same, same design, same chip, same ev everything. Just a little tiny bigger sensor, which barely even makes a difference on the iPhone 14. When Apple did this, they proved to me that truly like our smartphones today, like starting with the iPhone X and up till this iPhone 14, there aren't really any major, major differences. So if you're satisfied with your phone, just keep it because Truly, most phones nowadays do social media just fine, answer phone calls, text, emails, and that's what most of the people use their phones for. And I, I, I don't know, I don't see any reason, I don't see any reason for you to like upgrade from an iPhone 10 to an iPhone 14 or something. If, if you have less, less than like, less than an iPhone 10, so let's say iPhone 8, then yeah, sure, that would be a huge upgrade for you. But I wouldn't even, even if you're coming from an older, an older iPhone, this, the, the value is just, the, the price, the $800, it's, it doesn't, I can't stand it. I can't stand it, honestly. Just add 200, 200 more bucks and get the pros. So like Apple promotes that the pro iPhones are the premium, more professional iPhones and the iPhone, the regular iPhone 14s are uh, for like the, the regular everyday person. Like I don't want to say cheap iPhones because $800 are not cheap. So if you're looking to buy a new iPhone, just if, if you manage to get your hands on one of the 13s, that would be a big, big deal. Even if you, you can even get the iPhone 11. If you're coming from something like iPhone X or something for way, way cheaper price, I, I, I can't, I can't recommend this iPhone 14 to anyone because of its 
horrible, horrible value. And that was it for me in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching every video and liking and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video.